It's Tahatchapod time. Maya Acosta here with members of our Tashby Valley Parks and Recreation District. I have Sara Ideas, Recreation Manager, and Bailey Damien, Recreation Specialist, here to talk all about the fun stuff happening through TVRPD. How are you ladies? Pretty good. Good. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Happy to be here. Mm -hmm. Happy to talk about all the things on the horizon that TVRPD has planned. And I know one of the big things that we are touching on uh, promoting is Brews on the Mountain coming up in September. Oh, yeah. I know we just finished Mountain Festival, but get ready. Brews on the Mountain's coming up September 21st. So we have exactly a month from today. Mm -hmm. Exciting. Get there. Yeah. Wow. So you guys are keeping the uh, the fun events going. Um, I mean, as you said, we just wrapped up Mountain Festival weekend, which, which was a huge event. How was your guys' Mountain Gallop, by the way? Oh, it was phenomenal. We broke another record. Okay. Um, I know All American had about 320 participants. Um, Mountain Gallop doesn't get as many, I think, as people are preparing for Mountain Festival. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But um, we broke record with about, about 200 participants this nice. year for uh, Mountain Gallop. Yeah. Very cool. And it was a fun event. Everybody had fun all around. It was super yeah. duper smooth. Um, as someone has posted me <laughs> on social media, um, there was a box hiding in our office for participation medals. Ah. Um, so that was the only hiccup we had. Mm-hmm. So that's that's a A plus for me. That's fantastic. Very um, nice. But yeah, if um, you're listening and you didn't get a participation medal, um, you can still come into our office anytime of any day of any month (laughs) we'll still have (laughs) um medals for for you guys awesome okay back to brews on the mountain tell me about it so it's a beer fest i know we did sip and savor back in june that's to celebrate like our local wineries Mm -hmm. but this one's breweries um local or outside of california so um we brought in um or we invited a bunch of people from really all over southern california like we even tried to reach florida mm-hmm. there's a lot of people florida. go there okay. um but Tripping the distribution animals. yeah <laughs> the distribution's a little tricky but yeah it's just to kind of like celebrate breweries mm-hmm. like how every um county in california has a brew fest now and kind of like tying in october fest as well yeah um so we're just kind of like bringing in breweries having a cornhole um event maybe a beer stein hold maybe fun lawn games you know it's when it starts to cool off so it's just a way to come together with friends and family you don't have to drink you can buy the dd pass to still um enjoy the festivities in there we'll have live music as well so it's really just a day to like relax and hang out with friends and drink a beer (laughs) nice and i'm sure the weather will be absolutely gorgeous by this time of year yeah um, it'll hopefully start to cool off and mm-hmm. maybe we'll get some of those fall colors happening in the trees. Oh, we love be that. Beautiful. Yes. If that happens, but we'll see. What does Mother Nature want? <laughs> <laughs> right. It is uh, always up know. in the air, especially yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, so Bailey here has been talking to some breweries. So we've had some say yes. So if we can yeah want to say who has said yes give the people a look so as of now kern river company they've said yes so they'll be there we also have lengthwise west lane p-dubs and bravery brewery awesome and those yes. are like some real staples mm-hmm. of our area not just to hatchby but bakersfield lancaster yeah. um they're kern river, kern river. yeah it's their first time um i believe year? so yes yeah so it's cool. been we just want our process was whoever wants to come into Tehachapi, this is a way because they are familiar with one of these breweries mm-hmm. or Tehachapi people that go out to Bakersfield often. Right. Those breweries are coming in so they don't have to drive out that day or going to Kern River or wherever it may be that they frequently visit. And yeah. we're still working on getting more, but yeah, yeah, we have a good lineup so far. For sure. Very nice. We have food. You food. won't go starving. <laughs> I was going to say. Well, tell hungry. me about the food. <laughs> oh, food's food's going to be Kelsey's, P-Dubs, Pokey Express, and what was the last one? California Hot Dogs. California Hot Dogs. Um, nice. They're, they're always at our events. But mm-hmm. yeah, those are going to be our four foods. Maybe someone will be bringing pretzels. Okay. We, no one's confirmed, but <laughs> we can make it a definitely yeah. an Oktoberfest feel. Yeah, you guys are like really getting people in the mood for the mm-hmm. Oktoberfest. Yeah. You're like it's right before it. Mm-hmm. Helping yeah. people dip their toes in yes. to that, um, oh, yeah. those fall festivities. 
Oh, definitely. No, it's a good way to kick it off. I mean, having gone to Munich, Germany, mm -hmm. they do start Oktoberfest around that time. Oh, okay. um, just because over there it does get pretty cold in October. Um, so this is a good way to experience it in the small small zone just because in munich it like i think they said like two million people went last year oh my gosh so if you just want to like experience a small festivity this is definitely the place without being so crowded mm -hmm. yeah very cool yeah. looking forward to it if people want to purchase tickets how can they do so tvrpd.org um, you'll see our banner there for Brews on the Mountain. You can come into our office at 490 West D Street, right behind West Park. Or you can give us a call at 661-822-3228, and we can help you purchase your tickets. Um, we do want to mention that this is 21 and over only. Mm -hmm. um, so start making phone calls for your kids. We did try to make it for kids, but the planning just didn't really work out. Um, so this is 21 and older. All right, everybody get those babysitters booked for that weekend. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very fun stuff. Yeah. Okay, so aside from Bruce on the Mountain, which is a big lift, lots of planning goes into that. You guys also have your TOTS program kicking off here yes. soon. Tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah. Um, can kids still sign up? What is there to know about it? Yeah, so um, there's two different types of programs. There's like the, the TOTS, Tall and Tater TOTS program, and then there's the Summit Seekers program. So I'll start off with the Tall and Taters, which is like a pre-K kind of deal from ages three to five. So it's brought by Kelsey Ketchaside. She's done phenomenal, the TOTS director. This is just a program to help kids of that age to grow and get them prepared for kindergarten. So they learn how to write. They learn how to, you know, um, behave a around other students because I know that's like a big problem. They learn sensory skills. They learn how to ride bikes, like all these fun things. It's not just like pure education. Mm -hmm. They learn even how to hold scissors and craft stuff. They um, help with the teachers, like create like the Christmas ball um, get that prepped up. Just have a lot of fun. Their big thing is having fun while secretly learning, mm. if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So that's her big thing is getting those students in so that they, they have a chance to make friends and get out and just experience more in that very... I guess, important stage of their life because yeah. they're learning how to talk and they're learning to come out of their comfort zone and even just learning how to be out of out away from home, mm -hmm. away from their parents, but still in a secure area. And so that's the Tater and Tall program. Um, and then Summit Seekers is a brand new program that Kelsey worked really, really hard in um, for homeschooling um, enrichment. So there's homeschooling, we have Heartland, Valley, Oak, just all these different programs. But if they need extra help, they have to hire a, a private tutor. And usually that gets pretty tough to mm -hmm. hire one. <clears throat> so with this enrichment course, it's the same thing, same concept of having fun while learning, but it's they have their books, they have um, all this stuff and they focus with them. Like here's how to write more or here's how to read more stuff. Here's um, let's learn mathematics today kind of deal. So it's an emphasis on what they're already learning in their home schools um, and emphasizing those skills and reinforcing them in the, the homeschool enrichment class. Okay. Um, so those will be ages or grades, kindergarten through fifth grade. Very cool. Yeah. So both <clears throat> programs are great ways to help these young kids learn and get stronger and not only like life skills, but those basic motor skills for those young students to really help them thrive if they decide to enter, you know, traditional public schools or for the summit seekers, as you said, continue to just strengthen what they're learning through their homeschooling. So both very great programs. Oh, and yeah. are there costs um, yeah. related to those programs? Yes. So um, there's in-district and out-of-district. So in-district means that you're within like our city limits. So here in Tehachapi or in Golden Hills, um, you do have to provide proof of residency. And that goes along with also when we have youth basketball coming up or any youth program, um, you do have to provide proof of residency. And then once we have it in our system, it stays on there. Um, so you don't have to keep providing it every time. So with this TOTS program, pulling it up for pricing. The yeah, pricing it's for sure. $300 <laughs> monthly okay. or $225 with the in-district discount. And then there is a one-time craft fee, which is $95. It covers the whole year and also just covers like the supplies the kids use, scissors, crafts, anything you can think of. Um, but yeah, that is the cost. Yeah, and if you think you have an in-district discount, just come to the office, show proof, and then we'll change it for you and the kids. Awesome. And so yeah. is it easier for people to go into office to sign up for those programs online? From what I've seen, 
yes, it's easier to come in because you might also get the chance to meet the TOTS director. And if oh, okay. you have specific questions, yeah. she'll be able to help more than us because we're, we're just rec staff. We're just kind of like getting bits and pieces here and there. But she is the, the pro at this. Mm -hmm. So if you come in, there's a good chance you might even like tour the place or whatever it may be um, with questions as well. Um, she is having an open house next Tuesday. So if you guys want to go see it in person, meet the teachers, meet other potential students, see what the classes are like, where it's even located, um, she'll be having the open house uh, next week, either at in the gym, which is 410 West D Street, or at um, Tall Tots, which is at Central Park, um, 311 East C Street, or even for Summit Seekers, which is the Church of Christ, which is right next door to us, which is 401 South Mill Street. Will there be more information on that um, on your guys' social media? So people yeah, know. so on all social medias and then also on tbrpd.org okay. um, under activities, you'll find the, the TOTS program information. Awesome. Yeah. All right. And then looking out into the horizon, we are just kind of approaching maybe the end of summer. We have fall right around the corner. And a huge event for you guys is the Turkey Trot. Can you give us a little sneak peek, a little preview of this, um, seeing as how successful you guys' recent 5Ks have been? We're hoping to break another record. That's like my thing is we will. I want to break records <laughs> yeah. all year long and you know years moving forward. Turkey Trot always happens the week before Thanksgiving, so mm -hmm. it's projected to be November 23rd okay. out at Bright Lake. So just you know, imagine fall changing colors crisp holdish morning mm -hmm. um, some hot chocolate will be provided after the race and you're running around the whole bright lake so there's a full course that you run around um, i think it's like the most gorgeous 5k to run and then top three males and top three females win a turkey nice so definitely prepare for that one um it does get chilly <sighs> but it's like it's super duper fantastic so yeah it'll be most likely November 23rd. We haven't set it in stone just yet. And the race will start at 7 a.m. All right. Sounds good. Yeah. People, get your running shoes ready and get that training in now if it's something you want to oh, yeah. do. And there are people that do dress up. Like, ah. And we even have a turkey costume. <laughs> um, so I've seen like the, the turkey hats. Mm -hmm. I've seen turkey shirts. So that one, like if you have been shy to wear any festiv festival looking um, attire, mm -hmm. This one, definitely, I can guarantee you that there are people that do dress up for this one. So don't be shy. Don't hesitate. Wear your Thanksgiving attire and come on over and run. Love it. Now's your time to go all out <laughs> oh, with yeah. the fun festivities. Oh, yeah. yeah, no. So um, definitely be on the lookout. We should be posting here very, very soon. Awesome. All right. Anything else going on TVRPD related? I know you mentioned we have co-ed softball just about to start kicking off. If people are interested, I know you said teams are filling up pretty quickly, but if they people just want to go out and watch, is that a thing that they can do? Yeah, oh, yeah. of course. So this Thursday registration closes, so they still have time. Um, the league starts September 3rd. And then it'll end October 16th. That's the championship game. It's held at the West Park Grimes Field, so everyone can come and watch. Uh, we actually have our championship tonight for Men's League. We'll have California Hot Dog there. Um, so if you want to come out, see if the game's for you, definitely come and support. I know there's on our Facebook, we have also said, like, if you haven't found a team, just comment down below your name and number. So hopefully if someone's, like, missing a guy or girl, they can just pick you up from the Facebook. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Anything else I haven't touched on? Also be on the lookout for youth basketball. Okay. We yes, talked yeah. this morning about getting that set up. So youth basketball registration, it's coming up. It's coming quick. Even though the season starts January, we're already oh, yeah. well, that's ready a, for mm -hmm. registration. A super successful program for you oh, yeah. guys. It, it, last year, I mean, well, this year, it was another record-breaking amount. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm predicting that it's going to be just as big, if not bigger. Awesome. So we're in the planning stages right now we're going to get it set up and get ready to register um please don't wait to last minute register them um it helps everyone out with teams and the skill evaluations to get them in there so that the coaches can pick so um, the skill evaluations will happen in november so definitely once that registration goes up which should be within the week definitely start registering them and guarantee your spot because those do fill up especially for boys from grades third through sixth grade. 
fill up a lot faster. Yeah. <laughs> well, very cool. All right, people, keep your eyes out. And again, Brews on the Mountain happening September 21st at West Park. Super exciting stuff. Buy your tickets online. Do you guys have um, bands and live music secured yet or still in the process of looking? We're, we got a, a bunch of submissions for okay. bands, so um, it's in the works to get that um, finalized this week for bands. Um, so definitely be on the lookout. We heard some amazing mm-hmm. bands um, as they were submitting stuff. So it's going to be very, very difficult to hone it down um, to three bands. Very exciting. And how how long is the duration of the event? Are you going to have live music throughout the whole thing? So VIP is from 1 to 6 p.m., um, they get kind of like first dibs for everything. Okay. And then um, general admission is going to be from 2 to 6 p.m. Gotcha. Yeah. So the bands will be playing out throughout. Um, but definitely I encourage you to get VIP and get the full experience. Absolutely. Good stuff. Again, tvrpd.org to buy those tickets or to learn more. Guys, thanks so much for coming in. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. Of course. We're excited about all of the fun things that you guys have going on and uh, continuing to keep our community busy and involved. And it's just great looking at all of our different community partners and organizations that are offering so much to our residents here. For sure. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. Um, I do want to mention really, really quick. Yes. We are still looking for a sponsor for Turkey Trot. Okay. So if anyone out there is wanting to sponsor Turkey Trot, um, please reach out to us. You do get access to kind of get like free registration for your whole company. Um, there's no limit as to how many can register for that Turkey Trot and much more benefits. So definitely reach out. Very cool. Great way to also show your support for the community there. Yeah, it's going to be fun. <laughs> awesome. Guys, thanks again for coming in. Thank you for Thank having you. us. See you next time. Of course. All right. Thanks, everybody, for listening as well. If you have any questions or comments, you can email us media at com, and we can get those to the right place. And thanks for tuning in. We hope to see you next time here on Tatchpod. Pod.